Alrighty, so with Winterfest literally starting this Friday coming up, I know it's Friday already, but we're talking next Friday, Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland is going to start, and Canada's Wonderland is one of Cedar Fair's bigger parks bringing in large attendance numbers. Wonderland brings in such large attendance numbers um, that sometimes you're waiting an extraordinarily long time to get on their attractions in the summer, spring, um, and fall. Um, that being said, Winterfest is starting this year. It is its first year, and usually when you start a new event, it's not that busy. But I'm telling you, with the buzz online, Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland is going to be a huge success. From hearing about the Gold Pass sales and the stockholders' calls being the highest they've been, to hearing that there are already 300,000 units of um, season pass is sold um, ahead of previous years, uh, it's crazy. So um, this is going to be an extraordinarily successful event. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be Canada's best winter festival. I can tell you that. Putting my money in um, and uh, definitely supporting this event. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. I'm literally going to be there every day it's on. Every day. Every day I'm going to be there. Um, super excited about the food. The food looks delicious. The shows look absolutely amazing. Um, and it's awesome that there's some rides open. That being said, that is the main topic of discussion in this video, the rides. So with large attendance crowds coming to Canada's Wonderland for Winterfest and only having four rides open for the families and then a bunch of kids rides in Kidsville um, for the younger kids and families, one could assume that lines might get pretty long for rides. I'm going to be honest, I'm not there for rides. I'm there for the shows, entertainment, um, and all the lights and food. So I'm in luck. That's going to be fine for me. Um, but there are going to be guests that are probably going to be waiting in large queues. So what does a park do? Well, they have backup attractions. So we're hearing rumblings um, that Wonderland, and we're assuming also, so again, all of our videos are rumors and speculation. With the assumptions of the areas that we know Wonderland's going to be holding Winterfest, there are a couple attractions that Wonderland could have on standby. So based off of our assumptions and using the Winterfest map um, and the attractions areas, we could assume that something like Spinnovator and Thunder Run might be on the backup list. So if the park gets too busy or there's large crowds, they might have attractions on a backup list ready to be opened in case the crowds are just too much. We think Spinnovator and Thunder Run fit that bill perfectly. Thunder Run is about 90% indoors, um, and you can manage the area that Thunder Run operates in. It doesn't go fast enough to have ice shooting if there were ice formations. You could also just not open the attraction if it happens to be snowing. Um, it, there's several reasons and, uh, it just makes sense. The only thing I'm worried about is those large stairs upwards. So they would have to be making sure those are de-iced and salted. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely see it. Thunder Run and Spinnovator makes sense. Spinnovator's tilted platform could be dangerous. I have no idea their maintenance if there was snow. But again, we are talking about Canada. Canada and the Toronto area tend to be decent in terms of the amount of snow we get. This is a really bad statement to be making right now because we have so much snow and such cold temperatures right now in Canada for for November that I, I feel hypocritical for even saying that. But typically we do get some warmish weather in November and December and our true winter doesn't start till January, February, March. Um, that being said, again, I don't expect these two attractions to be open opening weekend um, and I don't expect them to be open too often. I and calling them standby attractions for a reason. So you'll see these attractions most likely open if the park is extraordinarily busy and they need further attractions to help spread out the audience and the guests um, as the further weekends come up for Winterfest. So don't be surprised if you see Spinnovator or Thunder Run chosen as backup attractions for Canada's Wonderland's Winterfest. Um, and uh, hey, at least we'll see a coaster running for Winterfest. So all those enthusiasts that have been complaining about no roller coasters running, here, you have one if it tends to open on the weekend that you're visiting. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. I wanted to give you my thoughts on overcrowding, um, and I definitely think Wonderland will have a game plan for that. Again, this is just an assumption, um, and my opinion, this is not confirmed. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.